All right, so now you're proficient at push-ups and it's time for us to start working on transitioning to one arm push-ups. So this is where your body weight strength training starts to become a lot of fun. Um, and even if you are a lifter or a fairly advanced lifter, um, this is when this type of training can really benefit you and help take your lifting or further your, your lifting progress. And the reason is um, we're gonna start recruiting a whole lot of, sta of stabilization muscles. So auxiliary muscles to the initial um, pressing movements are going to really be engaged. You're going to start using a lot more of the musculature in these type of movements. And the reason is um, when you start training for one arm push-ups, you're starting to work unilaterally um, where before we're using two limbs to move the body through space. Now we're going to start transitioning to using one limb more than the other. So it's going to be like uneven balancing, uneven training. And what you're going to find is yes, we're working on push-ups, but I often hear people say, Hey, my lats are sore, my spinal erectors, my core, um, my, you know, your, your serratus. So all these muscles have to be engaged um, to a higher degree. So if you think about a bench press, you're laying on a bench and you can isolate the pecs a lot more. It's still a com compound movement. You do engage, and if you do it right, you do engage other musculature. Um, so the bench press is not just like the pecs and the triceps. Um, however, when you start doing your one arm push ups, you will see that it's brutally hard on the core. Um, you have to have a very strong core to do them, especially with good form. And so that's why we practiced hollow body push ups, because when you get into one arm push ups, and you'll start noticing that there's a lot more core involved in the movement and, and your core strength is actually a limiting factor in how many of these you're able to do. So it's one more example of how body weight strength training utilizes all of your muscles from head to toe in most of what you do. Just about everything is compound. Just about everything is utilizing the core to a high degree, the glutes, the legs. Um, and you're gonna see that quite a bit with your, your as we transition into the one arm push up. What we're gonna start with is uneven push-ups, which I think are the most um, high utility push-up variation that you can, you can use. I've had very experienced lifters go on vacation or have a baby and they just find it difficult to get to the gym with their normal training schedule. And just utilizing this one type of push-up will have them getting phenomenal chest workouts. And they're obviously oftentimes surprised when they reach out and say, hey, dude, I did not expect this. This is, this is nuts, like this is a great workout. Um, so. If you're 100% body weight, this is gonna be bread and butter for you. If you are a traditional lifter who's just looking to incorporate a little bit of body weight um, when you can't get to the gym, this is going to be bread and butter for you as well. Um, so I'm gonna get down on a mat and show you how to put these into action. All right, so these uneven push-ups are going to start with your hands in a standard push-up position. And what will happen is one hand will be elevated you can elevate or change the elevation basically by number of inches to suit your current ability. So what I'm going to use is a yoga block that my dog started chewing up. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Um, but what I'm gonna do is use this at first, placed under one hand, and that's going to basically shift to where more of my weight is being supported with, in this case, it'll be the right hand at first, which is my, my pressing arm, my pressing hand. And so what's going to happen is, this is starting to shift to build that unilateral strength where one side is learning to push a higher percentage of body weight. So this is gonna make the exercise more difficult on the pressing side and less difficult on the other side. This is also gonna make um, the, the base that you're on less stable, meaning it's gonna bring the core into the, into the movement more. Um, so you're going to feel a difference for sure in the core, maybe in the lower back. And this is again why we do hollow body push-ups, the most stable position for the core and for the lower back. You're gonna have more strength this way. It makes the push-up harder, but it makes you stronger when you're doing the push-up. And so this is the only way to eventually get to safely and efficiently do one-arm push-ups. So we'll start with the yoga block, okay? One hand on the block, one hand on the mat, protracted shoulders, compressed abs, tensed glutes, so you're in the hollow body push-up position. And as you'll see, you're just going to come down like a standard push-up and then back up to full protraction. That is not a whole lot different than the standard push-up you were doing. So if you need a scale to this and you try this and you can feel a difference and engages more musculature, um, you, you're not good at this, then this is the step you'll go to. Um, from here, what 
I suggest is you can try it a little higher. You can use a basketball. You don't have to have a yoga block. You can use like a play ball, um, medicine ball if you have that stuff at home. You could use the handle on a kettlebell. Um, but basically, now this is slightly higher. So hollow body position, exact same thing. Press down, press up. You'll notice, especially as you get to the bottom, more of an emphasis on right tricep and the right pec. Again, this is still not a whole lot more difficult than the standard push-up. Um, from here, you can go higher once again, or we start moving the block or ball or whatever you're using out uh, to the side. You can even use, if you have a foam roller, you can use the foam roller um, and place your hand on that. And so I'll demonstrate that this way. What will make these uneven push-ups much more difficult and get you to the variation where it's really providing much more stimulus um, is going to be pushing this away from the body. And so what's happening then is you are expanding your base and it's making it where a lot more of your weight is being supported and pressed by the pressing arm. So let's say we're here, okay? Hollow body push up position. What I like about something that moves is as you go down, okay, as you go down, you can roll it out and then you can come back up like this, okay? So, so just to do those few reps, I had to seriously engage the core. Unlike your standard push-up, yes, it's gotta be engaged, but you're having to mentally think about that um, because the resistance of your body is not causing a huge, um, it's it basically a, just a standard plank, a push-up is an elevated plank, right? It's not difficult for a few seconds, 30 seconds. Um, and if it is, you'll quickly adjust to that. Now, when you start moving this other arm out and widening the base of support, you're gonna find how much more difficult it is and how much more you realize like, crap, I've really gotta engage this core. It'll happen automatically or else you won't be able to perform the movement. So with these, again, start out uneven hand placement, raise the uneven hand placement, then start moving outward, either with a block or whatever you have that works, or you can do something that rolls as I just showed you so that you can actually roll it out and roll it back up. Um, these, once you get to where your arm is fully outstretched, the thing to keep in mind is the pressing arm stays, um, these are not wide push-ups, so the pressing arm stays here, basically under the armpit where your standard push-up would be and from a bodybuilding standpoint, okay, um, if you really wanna target your triceps, a close grip bench press is a popular movement um, to target tricep. You still get pecs, but it really pulls the tricep in quite a bit. And since you're able to adjust in this type of a push-up, what's happening is a lot more resistance, a lot more weight, so to speak, a lot more load is being placed on this pressing arm and keep, keeping it in tight you're gonna feel a lot more tricep engagement. And if you pay attention and think about what you're doing, mind and muscle connection is what people often call it, um, you can slightly shift your body weight and you'll notice you can shift a little and really get that pec in there. Or you can shift a little and really target the tricep better. Um, there's not a better way I can explain it except for you actually doing it. But when you do these and you play with moving that base around, also play with leaning in just a little more um, and play with nice slow controlled movements and you'll be able to target the tricep a little more or the pec a little more depending on what your specific goals are um, so hope that hopefully that helped you guys